good morning children of class 5 today we are going to study maths in that we will do chapter number 3 the topic name is division word problem of exercise 3.4 we have already done few questions in it now uh, today in this video we will solve and discuss question number 7 along and 8 so let's begin so as it is the exercise number 3.4 it is a word problem the question goes like this question number 7 of your book a company collected rupees 96,74,500 from its shareholders full stop if the value of each share is rupees 550 comma how many shares were issued see the price of uh, the in rupees it is given a company has collected this much of share uh, amount from shareholders and each share has value near about rupees 550 so we need to find out that how many shares were issued by the company so let's see put that a word problem into sentence we will write solution first amount collected by a company from its shareholder first of all we will write whatever information given in the question so the first information given in the question is rupees 96 lakh 74500 and the second information given in the question is value of each share is already given in the question rupees 550 now what we are going to do that we are going to find the number of shares issued by the company so for doing that we will divide dividend divide, divide by this uh, divide so here we have got rupees 96 lakh 74500 the sign of division rupees 550 in this way if we will divide these two numbers we will be able to find out the number of shares issued by the company so first of all uh, draw this uh, bracket in which we are going to do division and uh, on the right hand side children i have already informed you about doing rough work it should be visible that is why i am doing it on the right hand side so you will also do like this we will uh, see what is there uh, as divisor and dividend this is the dividend given in the question and this is a divisor 550 so we are going to find it out all the multiples of 550 so that whenever we are solving the question we will not stuck in between so 550 multiply by 1 550 2s are uh, 1100 3s are 1 1650 Five hundred fifty four zero two thousand two hundred five hundred fifty multiplied by five will give you two thousand seven hundred fifty. Then six times it will give you three thousand three hundred. Seven times it will give you three thousand eight hundred fifty. Five hundred fifty multiplied by eight will give you four thousand four hundred. And nine times it will give you four thousand nine hundred fifty. And lastly ten times. Uh, which hardly we require but still we are going to find it out so we will add 10 in 550 it will give you 5500 in this way your rough work is complete now you don't have to do anything in the rough work it is sorted we are going to come back to the question and we will solve it let's see so we will see first this number 967 three digit number 967 what is there if we will read this table twice so it will be more 1100 is quite big number so we will go for one as quotient so it will be 550 that is why i have written 550 you will also write in the same way so one as our quotient we will subtract it 7 minus 0 7 6 5 1 9 5 minus 5 4 in this way we have got new dividend as 417 
which is I think not sufficient to divide here 550 is more and 417 is less now what we are going to do we will bring down one more number I hope you remember recall all the steps which is involved in a division process if you are not able to recall it please see that video again so 4 we are going to write in this way 4174 is our new dividend now let's see this will lie in which category 4174 8 times will be bigger so we will write down 7 times see 3850 we will subtract this 7 as the quotient let's see 3850 4 minus 0 will give you 4 7 minus 5 will give you 2 11 minus 8 will give you 3 and in this way uh, it will become 4 will become 3 so 3 minus 3 will give you 0 I hope the simple calculation is uh, easy to understand in this way 324 is left now as remainder so compare the number 550 again with 324 which is quite less so there are many digits we can bring one digit down at a time so 5 we will bring it down yes the new dividend is 3245 now the rough work is prepared already just to check out in which category this will lie 3245 3245 6 will be the bigger one so we will write 5 5 times so let's subtract 2750 we are going to subtract it 5 minus 0 will give you 5 then 14 this is 4 but we will take one borrow from carry here it will become 14 14 minus 5 will give you 5 14 minus 5 will give you 9 so here it is left with 11 11 minus 7 give you 4 it is left with 2 only 2 minus 2 will give you 0 this is the remainder now 495 still many digits left to bring down let's bring it one at a time zero will come down so it will become 4950 if you look closely rough work you will find 550 multiplied by 9 will give you 4950 which is uh, exactly 9 as quotient so we will write down 9 then we will subtract with the same number here what we have got after subtraction is 0. So still one zero is left to bring down. So let's bring it down. Subtract 0 by 0. Then we have got again 0. In this way we are going to write 0 on the top also as quotient. So this division process is complete but you have to tell what is quotient, what is remainder, that is the main step. So let's label it. This is quotient, what is that? 17,519. And what is remainder? Zero. So it is an important step to label and to know what is quotient, what is remainder you have got. Let's see it. The sentence, we will frame it into words. Answer so, therefore, 17,950 shares were issued by a company. So, this was asked to you in the beginning of the question. Now, the answer is given to you. I hope that this is uh, clear to you all. You all will practice this question, you will not do it orally. Let's see another question which is connected more or less connected to this one also no 
This is again from the same exercise, exercise 3.4, question number 8. In a bookstore, there are 16 lakh 1985 books. There are so many books in that bookstore. The books are kept in Almira. So these books are arranged in the Almiras. Each Almira has a capacity of holding 803 books. So each Al Almira, one Almira can hold near about 803 books. So we need to find out that how many Almiras are required to keep the books. How many books? This much of books. For keeping this much of book, we need to find out how many Almiras are required. So let's begin uh, our question. First of all, we will write solution and then we will start framing word uh, sentence. The solution is number of books in a bookstore that is given in the question 16 lakh 1985. Next is a uh, Another thing is also given, holding capacity of each Almira is 803. So what they are need, uh, required to find out, therefore number of Almiras required to keep the books. We will divide these two numbers to find out the exact number of Almiras required to keep the books. Let's begin it. We will uh, put bracket first. In that we are going to do division now. Dividend written 16,1985. Divisor is also written in front of you 803. We will do rough work first of all. As you are aware that we always do rough work on the right hand side of your copy. In the same way I have shown in the PPT also. 803 one time we will read. It's quite simple 803. Then we will uh, go ahead. Two times 1,606. 3 times 2409, 4 times 3212, 5 times 4015, 6 times 4818, 7 times 5621, 8 times 6424, 9 times 7227. Now the last one we are going to add 1 zero after that. 8013. So if we will do the rough work first, we don't have to do anything later on. So these things are sorted now. We will so focus on solving the question. Let's see. If we will see three digits, 168 will be very less. So we will take four digits at a once to divide. So we will compare 1601. Twice is quite a big number. It is more. It is six and here it is one. So we will take only one time. Here we have got 803. We will subtract it. Put the sign of subtraction. Don't forget to put it. Now let's see what we have got. 11 minus 3 will give you 8. And in this way this 0 will become uh, 9. So 9 will, we will bring it down. Then this will become 16 will become 15. 15 minus 8 will give you 7. So uh, 798 as the remainder and 803. Uh, not sufficient. So we will bring 9 down. So now we have we are having 4 digit in front of us. 7989. We, we, you can clearly see that we can take it uh, till 9. 803 multiplied by 9 will give you 7227. So we are going to write above 9. We are going to write 9 above 9. Yes. 7227. Let's subtract it. 9 minus 7 will give you 2. 8 minus 2 will give you 6. 9 minus 2 will give you 7. 7 minus 7 will give you 0. Let's bring down one more number, 8. So, 8 written. Now, it has become new dividend, 7628. 
we are going to divide it uh, i mean sorry uh, yes divide it with 800 free so we will take it uh, let's see the table chart first rough work seven nine times again we will write down 7227 now we will subtract it 8 minus 7 will give you 1 2 minus 2 will give you 0 6 minus 2 will give you 4 7 minus 7 will give you 0 in this way we have got 401 now we will bring 5 down so we have got 4015 if you will see the rough work properly this is exactly divisible uh, by 805 multiply by 5 if we will write 5 as question this will be completely divisible so we will write 5 on the top and 4015 we will subtract it so all 0 all 4 digits will become 0 after subtraction so now one more important step to label what is quotient and what is remainder 0 we have got as remainder and quotient we have got 1995 this process is not end because you all are aware that we always write answer uh, in statement let's do it therefore 1995 almiras are required to keep the books again i'm repeating therefore 1995 almiras are required to keep the books children please uh, try to practice the question in your uh, rough copy thank you